Guys, thank you so much for coming to this meeting so last minute. I have some very exciting news for the Lone Wolf. We have a producer! Oh. Yes! Oh God. <laughs> That's great, Bob. Who is it? Oh, you're not gonna believe this. He is a brilliant producer. One of the leading titans of this industry. He's done over 300 films, and he even has an Oscar. Oh and he's willing to do our film. Well, who is it? Harvey Weinstein. Okay, okay, I, I know we're all a little starstruck right now, <laughs> but let's all get it out of our systems before he joins us, okay? <laughs> Why in God's name would you hire Harvey Weinstein? Uh, because he's one of the most famous producers of all time. Especially now. I know, he is aging like mwah, fine wine. Oh, Harvey Weinstein is a rapist. What? Yeah, he's a serial rapist. No, 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 guys, guys, Harvey Weinstein. I think you're thinking of a different guy. Nope, same guy, Bob. Where are you guys getting this information from? Are you playing a trick on me? Rodney! Rodney, are you joking with me? Look at his face, he's joking with me. Uh, haven't you seen the news or anything in the past five years? I don't watch the news ever since they vilified Katrina. She was a hurricane, Jesus Christ, she was doing her job! Right, but the news tells you things that you need to know. Like, who among us is a serial rapist? Wait, he was convicted. Isn't he in jail? Jail? What? No, 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 no. I've been to his apartment. He has a very minimalist decor style and a uh, very strict doorman, but I wouldn't call it jail. Was his toilet in his bedroom? Yes, and that's so convenient. I can't believe you guys are giving it to cancel culture so easily. He's a great guy. I'm sure it was just a misunderstanding. Bob, I'm, I really- I don't want to hear any more about it. Now, Mr. Weinstein did request that we make a couple adjustments to the script so that he would sign on, which, of course, I said yes. So if you guys could turn to page 46 uh, in your scripts, we will read through the changes. Now, if you'll recall, this is the scene where Julia uh, stands up to her boss, even though it means she won't become a partner. All right, let's begin. Uh, I was intrigued by your proposal, Mrs. Wolf. I'm happy to hear that, sir. But I'm more intrigued by you. I've got a proposal of my own. Come by my apartment tonight, and we'll have dinner, drinks, and talk about your future here at Amphorp. Wowee! Thank you for this great opportunity to get to know you better and advance my career in the process. Plus, I could really use the extra money to size up my gazankas. Okay, this is ridiculous. What? It completely changes the scene. It's totally out of character. It throws off our whole plot line. <sighs> Guys, this is show business. And as Harvey Weinstein always said, you gotta make some compromises to get what you want. You know, he told me you'd be resistant, but he said if I keep insisting and insisting and insisting, eventually you'd give in and that you might even like it. Well, it, it just doesn't make sense to me. Well, you can discuss it with Harvey at your meeting tomorrow. Uh, my meeting tomorrow? Yes, he wants to meet with you specifically to go over your ideas for the script. I'm not going to that. Alright, Lily, you can go. But I'm just a PA. He said he'd take either one of you. Oh, hang on a sec. It's him. Harvey! Hey, everybody say hi, Harvey. Hi, Harvey. Hi, Harvey. Hi, Harvey. Hey. What? Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, lunch. Totally, totally. Yeah, any friend of yours is a friend of mine. Bill Cosby? I'm in! <laughs> Bye! <laughs>